much of it might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the side is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm going to cut it short. We may have been spotted. I should never have let him go. There was no stopping there. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Can Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite the genius of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad! Her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get him back. Climate, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. We need to go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? I can't, I can't let it happen again. Not in Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, did you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, babe. Unforeseen God. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um... Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plan. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, 
I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What did you say? Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are the active. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well, Freeman. Try it now. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here with you on that easy head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole.